All right, we're back. Second chance trying to get these bees from the old apiary here. This is like a 200 year old former apiary. It's nice and drizzly out. Some of the old stuff that they used to use back 200 years ago. I think that's some type of amusement ride right there, where you put a bunch of beer in the barrel and then you drink it while you're rolling around down the hills. There, up there, some type of looks like a cage where you keep a small monkey or something. Get a little better look today of what the bees are doing here. Got my little bag there. I'm going to cinch it up. And these things may have swarmed. They're, I'm going to walk around and look for a swarm because there was absolute tons of bees on here the other day. Now, the way this was explained to me was that this is called a German honey house or honey barn or something like that. Where they used to keep beehives inside of here. Now it just has some junk in here, but apparently the bees came into the wall at some point and no, that's not a good shot, but probably looked really cool 200 years ago. Then over here, oh man, they got a big lake. Did not see that the other day. This is a cool place for bees. A lot of cool tools here. It's an old fashioned tooth pulling device. Looks like they got an old laundry basket back before they had plastic. Um, old meat grinder. Got, you got Bob Davenport here helping out. Look at this. Meat grinder. Old and meat a sausage grinder. stuffer. Sausage stuffer. Huh. That's my old nickname in college. Oh my God! Look at this bird nest. Like that's a triple, quadruple decker robin nest. Cool. This place is so cool. I want to ride this thing here. Oh, back to the bees. Should we hook this up to the truck? <laughs> Alright, so the bees are down here. We're about to put them on the back of Bob's truck and take them home. Okay, Bob and I were able to wheel this whole mess of bees up here onto the back. Now we're just going to secure it so we can take them home. I'm leaving this nuke behind in the original location to catch all the foragers. My buddy Aaron will come pick this up. He lives nearby so we don't leave all these bees flying around. They're finding it and going in. All right, final step here. We're gonna get the net off of here. Let these bees, let these bees go. Right, to heaven. <laughs> new home. Got 
all this place to fly here.